Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am, it is Sunday, I just had a shower, cleaned my face, brushed my teeth, um, getting ready for the day and I thought it would be a fun idea to film with you guys, kind of like my 10 minute, uh, take this ring off, um, 10 minute everyday makeup, face, that kind of thing. So I, I have all my products laid out here, um, right, starting with moisturizer, eye cream, um, toner, that kind of thing. So we'll do that together and then we'll get into the makeup and I'm just going to keep my hair in the bun today. I told you guys in a vlog that I recently had beaded extensions and I removed them because it was just too much work. So I have my natural hair back. I can do these tight buns. I'm very happy about so we're gonna keep the hair and then the robe I'm gonna just get changed for the day so if you would like to see my everyday makeup routine then just keep watching okay so like I said earlier I just showered washed my face so I am going to actually start by using the lush tea tree water as a toner so I just kind of spray Spray this all around, kind of fan it to let it dry off. And then for my moisturizer, I'm going to be using the Tatcha the Dewy Skin Cream. It comes with like this little stick on top, which is nice, but I just use my hand. So I put a little bit here, here, here. Not a lot for the day. I use a little bit more um, for nighttime, but it is a heavier um, cream. So I just kind of use a bit to Put my skin and during the day I don't or every day really not just during the day um, my everyday go-to is not a foundation I use like a BB cream tinted moisturizer kind of thing so I find that putting this moisturizer underneath just gives me that extra bit of help that I need and then I'm gonna follow that with the Tatcha silk peony eye cream just put that underneath I'll have all the products listed as I talk about them on the screen if you're interested so I have my base I kind of that's kind of just my toner water moisturizer eye cream and then since I am putting makeup on if I'm not putting makeup on this is kind of just what I do on a daily basis but we'll do a little bit of makeup so I am going to use the morphe continuous setting spray just to kind of get the skin ready for some makeup and again I fan fan that and then so for uh, like I said BB cream tinted moisturizer today I'm going to be using the covergirl clean matte BB cream and I use this in the shade 510 fair this is if I don't have a tan right now it's kind of just not there so I'm gonna stick with this color and I just put a little bit on my hand I've been using this forever I've repurchased it like many times um, I do have more higher end but for every day I just like putting this on it's nice so I just kind of with my hand put it all over my face and then I always just have a cloth here to wipe that off and then my trusty elf sponge I'm just going to tap that in okay, so we have all of that blended in coverage is very light but it just kind of goes over the redness and I have scarring on my cheeks, so that just kind of doesn't fully cover them because I still want to look like skin, but um, just kind of evens up my complexion. So I love that. And then for concealer, we're going to switch it up today and we're going to use the e.l.f. 16 hour camouflage concealer and I am in the shade medium sand. This is a little, little bit dark for me today, but I just thought since I always use the ColourPop no filter I wanted to switch it up today so um, that one is medium and then I'm going to use the narrow side of the sponge and just blend that under my eyes okay so you notice I just put the concealer under my eyes I didn't put it I usually like if I'm doing a full face I'll put concealer here here down here on my forehead a little bit on my nose just to highlight everything but I'm really just using that today just to get rid of some bags I have under my eyes. So that is that. 
Now, um, I forgot to do this in the beginning, but I always use the Laneige Skin uh, Lip Mask. Usually when I'm doing my base, it's just nice to put on after you brush your teeth. And lately, we all know my lips have been very chapped, so that helps a ton. So for powders today, I'm just wiping on my cloth. I'm going to be using the usual e.l.f. bronzer in Forever Sunkissed. And I'm using a BH Cosmetics 123 brush just to kind of go over my face, add a bit of color and dimension because I always like to have a bit of color on my face all year round. And then since I am very pale down my neck, I just add that all around. I love this bronzer and it's like $3. So that is for bronzer. For blush, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Chic to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher in Ecstasy. I showed this in my favorites, but yeah, beautiful. And then I don't know, I've had this brush like since I started doing makeup and it's just, I always use it for blush. It's like a angled brush and I just put that. I always put a little bit of blush on my nose, my chin, just to kind of make my whole face look kind of sun-kissed. I don't know if you can see very well, but that's kind of where we're at so far. That was blush. And then I always add a little bit of highlight. So this is the Rimmel London Highlighting Palette. It just looks like this. And this is the Morphe M510 brush. And I use the middle shade and just a little bit of the top. And just on the top of my cheekbones. I don't personally like the blinding highlight. I just like kind of like a glow. So that's what I use on the tops. And that is kind of the base that I do. Now I have eyelash extensions, so I don't use you to use mascara. I'm just going to brush through my brows. I don't fill these in on a daily basis either. Put that back and just kind of tap everything over with my sponge. And I'm not going to keep my lips this nude. I always add a bit of color. I just don't think that that kind of suits me very well having a very nude lip, but you can kind of choose what lip you want to do for your everyday. Lately for kind of the winter, I do add a little bit of a different kind of color on my lips. And then again, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe setting spray and just set all of that. I do have this Tatcha Satin Mist spray. I haven't even opened it. Maybe we'll use a bit of that too. But I won't even, you know, it's like new. I'll play with that later, but yeah. Let me know if you like this one. I haven't uh, tried it. And then I'm gonna put this one back and put my rings back on. And that is kind of my everyday um, skin. If I bother to even put makeup on a lot of the time, I don't even bother to put makeup on unless I'm doing something where I feel like I need that, just a little bit of extra coverage. But, and this is kind of my go-to hair, go-to look on a daily basis. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon.